that's right an 80 centimeter tank so right in that slot between shrimp tank towers and this nice 60 centimeter but anyway so right what are we putting in this tank i can now reveal that what i want to do is make this a big Okay everyone, welcome back to another episode of MD Fish Tanks. I'm MD and these are my fish tanks. <laughs> I'm not sure if you saw the last episode, but at the end I showed you this fish tank of mine, which was the no filter tank, but I've added a, um, well not a filter, but a little power head just to get some movement because I was sick of having dirty sand at the front. Turns out the fish and shrimp have just destroyed this corner anyway, but never mind. Um, so yeah, they've got a green tinge to it. It's got like a green algae problem. Now I'm going to put this down to a couple of things. So the other week when I put the filter in, not filter, power head, I don't know why I keep saying it. It's not, it's not filter, it's a little power head. Anyway, so when I put that in, I removed all the floating plants and that obviously would have increased the light actually reaching the surface and has just caused this bloom. And uh, uh, I've not really done anything to it since. I could have probably done some water changes, maybe reduced the lighting period, but at the same time, I actually thought it looked quite cool. And this isn't actually as bad as it has been. It was more green than this. It's getting better and better by the day. So I would like to just leave it, I think. I mean, I could even do a water change now, maybe 20% or something. But I'm just going to leave it because I don't think it's hurting it in any way. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that and then come back to it maybe in another video and just see how it's doing. It's definitely being helped by all the floating plants I put in. I've got some red root floaters you can see there, yeah and also some salvinia and also the duckweed as well. So I've got a mix of three floating plants, which is creating a nice sort of canopy over the top. A really good area for all of these sparkling gro... Hang on, where are they? Oh, there we go, there's one. Um, excuse my reflections, but you know, can't be helped. Well, it can, but it's not hurting, is it? You, I'm still getting the message across to you guys. Anyway, so that is staying as it is, but I also mentioned in a previous video, look what's happened. It's not disaster because I'm not that bothered. Do you know why? Because this tank has to go. The reason being, it's 800 millimeters long or 80 centimeters. And guess what size I've got of this that's just arrived from All Pond Solutions? That's right, an 80 centimeter tank. So right in that slot between shrimp tank towers and this nice 60 centimetre, I'm gonna have a really nice 80 centimetre as well. Now, I'm not sure what I wanna stock it with. I was kind of thinking maybe a, a cool goldfish tank would be would be good. See if I could do a planted goldfish tank. There's a lot of people online saying it can't be done, but you know, I'd like to test that maybe and see if it is possible. Let me know if you'd like to see a goldfish tank, a planted goldfish tank, in fact. So why has this turned like this? Okay, so I was doing some maintenance on this about a week ago, about a week ago. Um, sorry uh, and I noticed that there was some green flies which I can't find now but there was some tiny green fly larvae just come on where are you you were here the other day anyway I can't see it now but there was some green fly larvae on a load of leaves so I had a little look and I thought oh blimey now that's uh that's where all these sort of flies are coming from. And then I lifted up a leaf that was back here somewhere and it was absolutely covered. You can see some of the dead ones that are on there now, just not there, <laughs> there, <laughs> just there. So what I did was I read online that if you use a solution of washing up liquid and water and you could spray the plants with it and it would kill the fly. There was one, there's one of them, there's one. There's about the only one now, which is good. I did have loads popping up and I was wondering where they're coming from. So I started spraying the leaves with this solution and yeah, I think I went a bit overboard because it's killed them. But you know, it didn't harm the water and the fish are absolutely fine, all my little guppies. There's generic, there's blue, and there's snake and the females, which none of them are carrying any of their babies, which means that they are in there somewhere. I've not actually seen them yet. Um, 
but you know, Enla Guppies are notorious for looking after their young, so or at least not mutilating all of them. So they'll be in there somewhere, but obviously this tank's got to go. So I'm going to be putting these guys back in the tank they were in over here. Lights are off, but this is the um, the other guppy tank that I've got now, the pebble one that I set up. I'll leave a link to that. Anyway, so I think I'll uh, just do a time lapse of me actually breaking this one down. The stand is almost the right size already. I just keep a store of a few things down here. Look, got me Tropica soils, got some um, specialized. I've got some Miracle Grow from when I used to use that on my tanks. I don't now because I use the Tropica stuff because it is better um, and I have it available, so I will use it. Um, but yeah, this stand is almost exactly the right size. It's exactly 800 across. Uh, I'm just going to bolster it out a little bit further with a, another row of this wood and then the 800 can just literally sit straight on top and I've already got a light up there for it as well because obviously it's lighting this tank so yeah that'd be cool um, again I'm not certain on what I want to stock it with but why wouldn't you have an 800 centimeter by 4 by 400 millimeter not centimeter uh, tank if you can so yeah it's going there and have a big tank why not So that's the aquarium all out and cleaned. The stand is actually a little bit too small for what I've got planned to go here, which is an 800 centimetre uh, tank. It's, well, it's 800 centimetres long, it's just not wide enough. Um, we've got 450, no, 400 millimetres in width, 450 in height. So this is set up at the moment for about 300. So I just need to extend it out a little bit and then we can get the tank back on and just discuss what we possibly want to do with it. Don't know what that is. <laughs> Well, now that the tank's in place, I'm noticing that there's a few things that I want to change. So, for instance, the black background is not how I want it. I mean, I want it black, don't get me wrong, but I want it more clean. So I'm going to add like a, a wood, a painted wood background that just slots in behind. I don't want to paint the glass in case, you know, I want to change it later, which you can scrape the paint off, but there's no need. If I can just, you know, paint up some wood, put it behind, that'll look good. Also, this light needs to change. So what I've got is I've got an 800 light to go above and I've got a 600 light to go above here. I can take this one off and just put it elsewhere. Um, I can put it on across some other tanks or something some other time. I'm sure I'll get a big tank again at some point when I've got, stop doing that, uh, when I've got the new studio in the springtime which we're going to be building which I'll obviously be doing videos for everyone to watch as well and enjoy. But first of all yeah I'll, obviously this will have to come off. You might notice here the padding isn't on every single bit of the surface because I didn't have enough but I've cut it and divided it evenly. The load spread it's all good. So yeah, that's going to get the paint 
on the background and we'll slot it in and just see how it looks. It should give a real clean finish, which is what I'm hoping for. So I'm not perfectly happy with the finish that this has given me on the wood. So you can see here, look, some areas are sort of matte, some areas are shiny, and that's not good enough for me. And it's actually completely dry as well. So there's only one way to get a perfect finish on your tank, and that is to paint the glass. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Right, so we're basically using black acrylic, which is effectively just wet plastic. When the water evaporates, you're left with a plastic finish. Uh, just squirt it in here, like, uh, then we can get rolling. I don't know if you guys can see, but that wasn't going too well. I was using a lot of paint and not getting a lot of surface area done. So what I've done is I've put a load of the acrylic paint into this pot, added some water to it to bring it up to sort of like more more of a you know spreadable consistency, I guess. I'm just going to put it on with a paintbrush. The finish will be perfect because the other side is glass and obviously it goes flat against that. So yeah. Okay, so that's layer one done. Now you can either let that dry uh, like on its own or you can do what I'm gonna do, which is speed the process up with a hairdryer. And then I can just get the second layer on and then maybe just touch up some areas with a third layer, but you know, play that by ear, see what you need to do. But you know, it's as simple as that really. Right, so that's everything flipped around. Let me, get you, let me let you have a better look at that. There we go. So I think that that list looks really sort of crisp and really nice. It's as far away as I can get. It looks like I'm too close than I am, I think, because the camera, the way the camera works, but it's gonna be cool. We can go right here and get a full tank shot at any point, so that's cool. Nice and black. Background looks brilliant, super smooth. Nicely sits on the stand. Storage underneath for uh, anything if I need it. Yeah, brilliant. Right, I need to take that light off because I need to put a strip light across it because I think it will look better. Oh, it's hard to know though, isn't it? Because that actually, that light could work really well for like a spotting down light. Um, no, no, it's got to come off, it's got to come off because that doesn't look right now. Because obviously you've got that long light like that. doesn't look right, so it's coming off. Well, there we have it guys. All done, fitted, all the lights on. Nice black background, light in the middle, strip light in the middle, lighting up this tank, which remember at the start of the video I was showing you it was green? Well, I don't know why I did that. It is green. <laughs> yeah, look, see, it's clearing up. Like it was two days ago I filmed that first bit where it was properly green, but it's clearing up every single day. It's starting to look really good. And I'm really liking these little red root floaters, look. Look really nice. Hopefully I can grow more of those in there and I'll just, you know, remove some of the duckweed and salvinia as we go and keep all the red root floaters going because I quite like that look. But anyway, so, right, what are we putting in this tank? Well, I can now reveal that what I want to do is make this a big goldfish tank. Yeah, that's right, goldfish. So I want to do a planted goldfish tank because you don't see many of them on YouTube. You see a few and you can have success with them with specific plants like Anubias and Java Fern, Java Moss, that sort of thing. And to be honest, you only need those three to make a really good planted tank, providing you do it, you know, in a clever way. But yeah, I think I think it will look really cool in there. With the black background, the goldfish are gonna really pop. And you know, I've decided to go for something quite minimalist to show off the fish, but I'm gonna get the uh, Ranchu goldfish, is it? You know, like the real cute looking ones, they're like little puppy dogs. Um, let me know below if you agree, if you think that's a good shout. It was a toss up between the goldfish tank or a full on Ultim 
angelfish jungle tank and you know i might even still do that at a later date but i really want to try the goldfish because i've never kept them and i think they look really cute in the shop you know like wagging their little little bums everywhere but yeah so let me know if you think that's a good idea i i think it is and um also you know more cold fish as well that you know people other people you know let's face it goldfish are the most common fish in our hobby and why not create something cool to show people what they can do rather than putting them in a tiny little bowl or something a big fish like that is not supposed to go in a small tank i think people forget how big goldfish you get but anyway let's um leave it there and uh, hopefully see you next episode uh, i'm going to be a do, doing a build episode next so yeah what i'm liking to do at the moment is about one build video a week and the rest of them will be just sorting out the fish room and just doing different things but yeah I hope you enjoyed this this video a little bit different to usual because it's just me setting up nothing <laughs> but you know you can you can feel the anticipation growing i'm getting excited about it look at that it's just so black well it's not at the moment because we've got all that glare but it you know it will be don't worry anyway right i'll catch you guys next time i've rambled on for too long cheers